I ah, uh, this is getting out of hand. So we got I'm here to speak out on this uh, CM Punk drama that has happened at the All In pay per view. The All In pay per view was I believe it was a success. You know, I don't want to be called an e drone, but. Yeah, it's a success. I wouldn't take away the success that All In had. They had like a terrible build up, but they managed to pull out a spectacular show, great production. I think it's their WrestleMania in terms of production, in terms of quality. Yeah. So kudos to AEW, but but the fact of the matter is the problem lies is that we're not talking about All In. No, we're talking about C. M. Punk. You see, rumor, rumor surface. There are dirt sheets from Fightful that says that that says C. M. Punk had a backstage altercation with the former uh, Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Well, I never like. I never really like Jungle Boy. You know. And I pretty much disdain Jack Perry. I see Jack Perry as a normal heel. And I see Jungle Boy like an a WWE gimmick lost in AEW, if you know what I mean. So, if we want to trace back what happened, Jungle Boy or Jack Perry wanted to have a spot which involves real glass. On AEW Collision. Collision is the show that was purposely made for CM Punk because CM Punk doesn't want to work with the Elite. So they can have the Elite on Dynamite and CM Punk and all of his cronies work on Collision. And this is like to prevent a toxic environment. You know what I'm saying? And because of this, CM Punk literally has control on, on AW Collision. He sent Dolph Ziggler's brother home. Adam Page was sent out. You know, no. And Jack Perry, who wants to use this uh, real glass spot. Re- uh, the producers were up, up against it, like the, like you know, the safety, the concerns. Of course, they would uh, vent out the concerns to CM Punk, which leads to the confrontation. Fast forward to All In, Jack Perry actually used Jack Perry actually used real glass on the windshield, and he shouted out, "That's real glass! Cry me a river! Go look it up on YouTube. It's on the shorts." Before AEW takes it down, but it's on the YouTube shorts. Like, it's just 10 seconds, you'll see. And that is the whole background of it. So after the match, we all know CM Punk vs. Samoa Joe was the first match in All In. Because uh, Jack Perry's spot was in the pre-show. So before before the show went live... Properly, the main show went like properly. CM Punk grabbed uh, Jack Perry by the chokehold regarding the situation. So I'm not gonna really zone in to CM Punk. I think much of the fault here was on Jack Perry being immature and Punk just venting out his frustrations because he got called out. Remember, if you call out CM Punk, like what Hangman Page does, or what Hangman Page did during their program for Double or Nothing, Punk is a little bit petty. Now, today, we found out that CM Punk and Jack Perry were suspended. Uh, I get it. But, could it they just waited at least after their next pay-per-view all out which is next sunday yeah it's the pay-per-view after payback we get payback wwe's payback on saturday 
and then AW's All Out on Sunday. This is the ver- this is not isn't the first time a WWE show is consecutive on it is running consecutively with a WWE pay- live event. It happened last year, Clash Clash at the Castle, and All Out. This is the brawl out situation. So happy first anniversary, I guess. Yeah. So. Thing it and all out is on Chicago and their homeboy isn't going to be there. That is going to be a boo fest by the Chicago fans. You know? No? There. I said it's gonna Chicago fans are gonna be disappointed. They're gonna hijack that whole show. I'm predicting it. I'm predicting it right now. And this irks me the way that I do. Every time AEW does a good show or a fantastic show like All In. There is a backstage drama that happens. There is backstage news that happens. It's all about the backstage. It's all about what happened. We could, we might as well get a DLC for Fight Forever. AEW backstage assault just for all of this news. MJF actually said in his backstage interview they all hate each other but at least we put on a terrific show yeah good job good job on putting out a terrific show while promoting a toxic workplace yeah good job good job on that what i'm saying is someone has to put ha- someone needs to have the a pair of balls to do to assert some authority and the likes okay so recently we found out punk was already in a bad mood prior to all in apparently his uh ride he towards wembley stadium didn't arrive and the netizens or whatever you call people using x nowadays track down the AEW travel coordinator whether it's a bad place wrong place at the wrong time that AEW travel coordinator is a mini buck or a fan of the young bucks and it is like having the idea that CM Punk got ribbed first of all I'll believe it when I when it's really verified I mean, Punk didn't have to use the subway. I mean, it's not a small. It's not a small issue. Can they just ride the cab towards Wembley and charge it to Tony Khan? I mean, you guys are close, right? No, and yeah. So, and he was already in a hot mood. He he was already tempered tantruming. I think he w- really said to Tony Khan that he'd chew Tony Khan out and quit. And then the Jack Perry situation came and all and it all cascades down. Someone needs to really assert their leadership, you know. I'm not pointing fingers who but someone needs to man up because whether it be Jericho, I don't know, Moxley Hell, even Tony Khan. They need an they need an Undertaker there. And when I'm not saying they need an Undertaker, they need they need a scary person there, like Malachi Black. No, not that. They need someone with like wrestlers court. You know, Undertaker punish those that like are really deviants or and just to implement discipline on the locker room. Because right now, with whatever creative freedom AW brings to the talent, it's getting way over their head. It's like the inmates are now running the asylum. And every week, we just hear backstage drama after backstage drama. 